Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came over to our channel today. And if you are new to my channel, I want to introduce myself. My name is Teresa. Today's projects are going to be some thrift flips. And I'm about to start putting out a bunch of thrift flip um, videos because I've been to um, some really good yard sales lately. So I've got a lot of things um, that I have purchased real inexpensively. And I'm going to show you how we can transform all these things and add them to our home and have some really cute decor. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and I hope you get lots of inspiration. If you haven't joined my Facebook home decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it and also go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. The first project, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a French country lavender sign out of a piece of scrap wood. And these are some flower sack cloths I purchased from Dollar General. You get two to a pack for $2. I've also got some that are priced about the same. You just have to buy a larger quantity in my Amazon store. And I'll have it linked below. I'm just going to take a piece of scrap wood. And this is a piece of fencing. I think Ben just saw the top off of it. And then I'm going to paint it brown with some um, brown craft paint that I purchased at Walmart and I'm going to cover it with the candle wax. That's my favorite method to distress and I show that in a lot of my videos. You just cover it with the candle wax. Then I'm going to apply my linen white chalk paint on the top of it and then I'll take my plastic scraper. I'll scrape over it and you can just see how it lifts that paint right off and you can get a really uh, chippy distressed look. Now after I get my board distressed, I cut a piece of the flower sack cloth that I have stained in coffee and I just cut it the size of my board where it'll wrap around the sides and the bottom because I'm going to want to make a pocket. Now I'm going to take one of my IOD stamps and um, in my last video I called it Iron Orchard Designs. Y'all, they are Iron Orchid Designs. I don't know why I had that in my head, but I just went with it and it's... But anyway, the correct name is Iron Orchid Designs Stamps. So I just put one of those croc stamps that one of my sweet viewers had sent me. And I stamped the front of it. And y'all, I love stamping fabric with these stamps. To me, it's um, it's very easy to do the fabric. I haven't tried wood yet, but I can't wait to st use these stamps on some wood next. And I'm just basically hot gluing it around my board to form a little pocket. And that way we can fill it with all kinds of things. We can put, you know, vintage items in it. We can put florals in. It. Now I'm going to show you just a quick way of how you can make a real inexpensive simple little rosette. Now I have showed this in previous videos also but I don't think I've ever made them out of the flower sack cloth but again I take my stained coffee stained flower sack cloth I just cut a strip and I ripped it and I just use I'm just going to do one the length of my flower sack cloth and then you just want to start hot gluing to form a circle and then you just basically want to go all the way around tagging it down with hot glue as needed and you just kind of want to twist as you go and you just you know we're just forming a flower and you just sometimes want to get that little rough edge you know at the top just to make it you know give it more of that little rustic look and you just keep going around and like I say you just tack it with the hot glue as you go and as needed. Now for this project, I'm going to end up making three. I'm going to make a large one and I'm going to make two small ones. Now when I get to the end, I kind of like to leave like a little tail. To me, it just adds a little bit more detail to it. But you can also glue that down if you desire. Now to make the smaller one, I just cut a, the length. I cut a little bit off the length and, and made it shorter. But you can also just keep going. And as you, you know, eyeball it and you get it the size you want, you can also just cut your, your flower sack off when you get it the desired size that you want it. But I made the two, the two smaller ones about the same size. And then I'm going to apply them to my little pocket. And now once you get these made, you can embellish the center of these with so many things. You can put some totally dazzled bling on them. You can use buttons. You can put some pearls in the center of them. And these are so much fun to make. And they're very quick and they're very simple also. Now I just hot glued them. And just adds, you know, just a little bit more of that little, you know, just a little primitive rustic look to it. Now I want to 
stuff it with just a little bit of filler. You don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to give it more of that little poofy look, make it look more like, you know, a little stuffed pocket. Now I'm just showing you real quick how you can just throw some, you know, inexpensive little florals in it. And I love lavender, so I put some lavender on it. And I'm going to just add a little messy bow to it. And I've showed in a previous video how to make bows, and I'll link it below. But I just, you know, crisscross several different, you know, fabrics some of that flower um, stained flower sack cloth and some lace and then you just kind of want to tie them in the middle really tight and then you just want to trim the ends really good and then just fluff it out these make the cutest little bows very inexpensive and simple again and this just adds so much to it and you know and gives it more you know like i say that little rustic shabby chic look Now I'm going to make a handle for my sign, and I just ripped a piece of my flower sack cloth. I ripped a strip of it again, and I'm just double knotting each end and leaving, you know, a little tail on each end. I like that little tail effect. Just gives a little bit more detail to it, and then I'm going to hot glue it to the sides of my sign. If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. Now I'm going to show you how to make a little French country wood floral box. I purchased this little wood box at a yard sale and I paid $2 for it. And it's going to distress really well. I put my candle wax on it and I'm going to top paint it linen white and I'm going to distress it. And you will see what it looks like in just a minute after I paint it. But I'm going to use my new iron orchid design molds. Y'all, I cannot wait to use these. And a Jackie from Ruth and Ruby, and I'm going to have her store linked down below. So if you need any of these products, please go out and visit her shop. And she's offering a 10% off discount code to all my viewers. So she sent me the clay in these molds. How fun are these? So the first thing you want to do when you take your molds out is, or you're going to use them, is you want to brush them with a little bit of cornstarch just so your clay won't stick and it'll make your clay mold come out really easy. So I just went in and you now I brushed it down with my cornstarch and you just kind of want to shake it off and then you want to roll that clay around in your hand just to get a little bit warm and just make it flexible to where it'll work in your hands you know and work down in that mold really easy and that, that it doesn't take very long at all and now I'm doing this little rabbit I have seen this rabbit on so many things from other YouTube creators and I just absolutely loved him so I couldn't wait to make something with him so then after you get him you know your clay press down into your mold you just take it with your fingers just kind of form it and then you want to go around the edges and you want to wipe that excess clay off the edges now i always wrap your clay up in some plastic or airtight container to protect it so it doesn't dry out now you really just want the the image to come out of the mold on its own and it doesn't take much it kind of just works its way out on its own you don't have to really force it and once you get it out now this is the only glue i have on hand at the time but I know you can use E6000 to apply it and other glues but so but I thought oh, I'm gonna try the wood glue since it's all I have and it worked so I just put wood glue on the back of my rabbit and I applied him to my my little floral box now I'm just going to show you how cute this is styled with some Dollar Tree roses I just used some assorted roses from Dollar Tree. I really love their roses. To me, they're one of the best florals that they carry. And I just got some assorted colors. I picked up some white ones. And I've got some pale pink ones. And I'm just going to use a little bit of floral sponge. And, I, you know, as you can see, I clipped them off to be the right length for my little wood box. And I'm just going to go around and just stick them in. And I'm going to use some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And this is from a sweet viewer that sent me a package of goodies. And this ribbon was in there and I love it it's a gray stripe and I think it's going to accent my roses really well and I just made some little loop bows and I'll just show you how cute this little wood box turned out
Now this is a little shabby sheet, little carousel horse I'm going to show you. Now I picked this up at a yard sale and I, I, I don't even know if I paid a dollar for it. The lady that I, I buy from on these yard sales, she bundles things. So I bundled a bunch of stuff for like $5. But as you can see, I took the little plaque off. It come right off and I was going to put it back on, but I decided at the end I don't. I do something else with it. But again, I'm going to add my candle wax to the base. I'm going to chalk paint it linen white, and then I go around and I distress the base. The the horse, I did not distress, but in a couple of places, the paint kind of chipped off, and I just left it like that, and I did not paint the pole because I thought the pole was really pretty, the color that it was, that antique bronze color. Now, I'm just going to take some assorted fabric strips. I'm just using some lace and some flower sack cloth that I have stained and some white flower sack cloth, and I'm just going to bundle a bunch of these in my hand and get because basically what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to make him a really pretty little shabby chic plush tail so I'm just gathering them up in my hand and then I'm going to take a, a piece of Dollar Tree cotton yarn and I'm just going to tie it off and I'm going to kind of ruche it around the top because I want it to kind of um you know flower out when I glue it on and that will cover up the original tail on my, on my little horse and just kind of add just that like I say just a little shabby sheet detail now I'm going to place it on here and kind of fluff it out and work it where I want it and once I get it where you know I think it looks good then I'm just going to apply it with a little bit of hot glue and tack it on there and I'm just ruching the top of it just to kind of you know make it bow out and then I'm going to add a little bow to my carousel horse and I'm also going to put one of those iron orchard design stamps on this I showed these in my previous video these are the knob toppers and I'm just going to apply my ink to it and then I'm just going to this one I think says Paris and it's got a little bit of handwriting script at the bottom of it so I'm just going to place it right there in the middle where that little plaque was and then you just want to, um, you know, apply it in the desired area. And you kind of want to hover over your area. And then you just kind of want to mash it down without moving your stamp. And then this is what it looked like. And I thought this added such a cute little touch to this. Okay, y'all, it's toward the end of the video again. And as always, I want to tell each and every one of y'all how much I appreciate you, how much I appreciate all of your comments, all your sweet notes. Without y'all, I could not do this. Y'all are such inspiration to me, and I love each and every one of y'all. I hope you all have a great week, and God willing, I plan to see y'all back on Saturday in my next video. Love y'all, and have a great day.